What's going on awesome people of YouTube? I've just taken a brand new drop servicing store from zero to $11,525 with 72 orders in the last 14 days so far in South Africa and a third world country. So what I'm gonna do is just to reload this to show you this is my live proof over here. And while this is loading, and you can see on the screen that this has been refreshed. Today's video is going to be absolutely epic and a really new way of drop servicing. In a sense, we're not going to pay for funnels. We're not gonna be signing up to Kartra or ClickFunnels or Builderall where we have to pay $70 a month. All of this you can do completely for free with free hosting, a free domain, and you can run a single product store. And the thing is the service that you're selling, remember you don't need to do that work yourself. You are outsourcing other people's skills at a huge markup. Let me give you a good example. This person over here creates a really high quality one product Shopify dropshipping store. They charge $20 for this once off store and it has a potential to earn up to $1,500 a month selling this product. You've also got a standard package where your store can earn up to $3,000 a month and a premium package with up to $5,000 a month at a $95 once off fee. This is just potential, this is not guaranteed. But what I'm saying is, I mean, for this person to be charging $20 to create you an e-commerce store, they are local companies in my area that charge thousands of dollars for the same type of service. Now, the reason why these people on Fiverr are so cheap is because they've got no expenses, they've got no overheads, they don't have to pay for staff, they don't have to pay 100 salaries to a development team. So therefore, their prices can be a thousand percent cheaper than that of local companies in your local area. So what I go and do is I go and start up my own corporate looking company in my local area and I basically just go and kill all my competition. For example, when I get an order from someone that wants to buy a Shopify store from me, which I'm gonna show you how to get boatloads of free traffic and actually convert into sales, I will go and charge $199, come over to this guy, pay him $20 to do the same thing and then transfer this work to my client and I kept over $170 in my pocket. It's a beautiful concept and the markup and the profit is absolutely huge. I feel like you can make a lot more money with this. Before we get into this video, make sure to go down below and tap on that subscribe button and make sure you've got the notification bell on so that you can get the latest way to make money online from me every single day. And also come over to my Instagram over here. Make sure to give me a follow. I'm posting podcast content every single day where I have discussions about various different valuable topics. You can also send me a message and see more into my personal life. Without further ado, we're gonna hop straight into the strategy. We are going to be using a platform called WooCommerce.com. So I've been talking about this for quite a while on my channel. And the reason being is because it's an open source, free e-commerce platform, unlike Shopify or ClickFunnels or converter kits where you have to pay a monthly fee to have an online store. This is completely free and I still can't understand why today the owner or the creator of WooCommerce decided to make it free because he could have made a lot of money from it. But I mean, I'm not complaining. It's literally a free platform for us to go and design any kind of free store to make money online. There's so much potential here. Now, in order to install WooCommerce, we need to go and get internet hosting, which is an online cloud computer where we can host our computer store which the whole world can see via our domain, which is a .com domain, a .co.za domain, or even a default domain that comes with your hosting. So I'm going to show you a free and a paid platform. Firstly, we've got freehosting.com, which I really recommend if you're a newbie, you get absolutely free hosting. Um, there's no free trials or there's no hidden credit card fees. It's free hosting for lifetime. However, your resources are limited. So you're usually limited to only one or two websites or one or two domains. Your storage is very limited. So this is only ideal for a newbie if you wanna create only one store. And over here, you can go sign up completely for free. I use a platform called a2hosting.com. I'm on the Turbo Max package over here, which is $12 a month. And I mean, you get uh, SSD, unlimited websites, free and easy site migration, and your site's page load speeds are up to 20 times faster than that of normal hosting, which is really nice as that plays a big role in conversion rates. So A2 Hosting, great platform if you are more advanced and want to create lots of sites. So I'm already on a2hosting.com, but it works exactly the same as freehosting.com. What you do is you just come over to your client's area over here, uh, same as free hosting, and there will be a button on the back end of your dashboard that says cPanel login. You want to go and click on cPanel login. Under the script section, which is usually under the Soft Delicious apps installer, go and look for WordPress over here and click 
click on the WordPress option, which will allow you to go and install WordPress. At the top over here, click on install. You can choose any of your domains that you have connected. And then all you do is click on quick install and it will by default take you to your WordPress dashboard. So I've already got a WordPress website. So I'm just gonna log in to my dashboard of my existing website, which is this one over here. So you just click on login as admin and it will take you to the dashboard. Then take a look at the left menu over here. Follow my mouse as there's quite a lot of options on this screen and I don't want you to get lost. So if you have a look at the plugins tab over here, click on plugins or just hover over it and then click on add new where we can go and add the WooCommerce plugin, which again is open source and completely free to add and use. You want to go and search on the search bar over here. Keep watching my mouse, WooCommerce and just click on enter and it will search by default on the plugin store for you. And over here you will see the WooCommerce plugin that I've already installed. I just need to update my WordPress as I haven't updated that for a while, but don't worry, you won't have that error. Once you've installed WooCommerce, you'll see it's on the left menu bar over here. Now, the first thing you want to go and do is we want to go and add a product. We're gonna do this backwards. We're first gonna add our product and then go and create our landing page on WordPress. So over here you can see we've got a product name, a description, a price, um, inventory shipping, which we don't have to worry about because with services, it's all digital and virtual. You don't need to deliver anything physical. And then in order to add our service, we need to go and find a service on fiber.com, which is my number one recommended freelance marketplace. As there's so many options here, people with the best reviews that actually do really high quality work. So what I usually do is I usually like to go and sell something that will benefit a lot of people. Something like data entry, for example, will only benefit people in data entry, but something like e-commerce development could be an online store side hustle for anybody that wants to make money online. So what I've been doing is I specifically found this guy over here who will create a one product Shopify store drop shipping website. He will create all the themes for you. He creates your own advanced logo, a winning product, and you get seven days free support as well. And I mean, you don't need to do any of the hard work yourself. You just need to run your store and get sales as it's all made for you, which makes it really easy for your clients and bypasses and bypasses the whole process of firstly designing your own store or spending thousands of dollars with a local company and you can save tons of money. Now, a lot of people don't know about these people that sell these services for so cheap and they don't need to. So what we're gonna go and do is we're gonna go and create like a corporate looking business brand and go and sell this on our local company websites in our local cities to completely beat our competition in the e-commerce and web development niche as this is a very high income skill. So there's lots of room for profit from this. So what we can go and do is we can go and use influence from this for our own title. We can come over to our add new product over here. We can go and type one product, one product specialized Shopify dropshipping store. For the description, we can come over to our Fiverr gig over here and we can go and copy this entire description over here. It's literally perfect for our own description. I mean, everything is here. You just need to copy and paste. So we can go and paste this over here like this. And yeah, you can see your description is now done. What I suggest you do is also come over back to this gig. Um, just have a look for a couple of the images over here of some of these stores. So I mean, here you'll see is, is obviously a store they created. If I open this in a new tab, it's got to do with a beauty product. So what we can go and do is we can go and just save a couple of these. Let's just save image. We're going to create a new folder. And we can name this Shopify images and let's go and save this in this folder. And you just want to go and save quite a couple of these pictures of here. So just go right click, open a new tab, right click, save image and save this one. Same with let's, let's do this one with the laptop, open a new image, right click, save as we can save this over here in Shopify images. And over here we can also do, I would say, Let's just choose one that's quite visible over here. This is quite a good one for the front page of the ad. So we can go right click and save this over here. So what we can do is we can then come back to our WordPress page over here under product image on the right. You just want to select image, click on upload files, select files and go and upload all four of these images that we downloaded off of Fiverr and set your product image to the same product image as the Fiverr gig and click on select or set product image over here. So this has now been set. And then the next thing we need to go and do is we need to go and add our price. So you can see over here, they are charging $20 for three different packages. We want to click on the drop down over here under product data and click on variable product. Under attributes, click on add. Under name, you want to type the type of dropshipping store. For the values, you want to have a basic standard 
and then a premium store over here. And you want to click on use for variations and click on save attributes under the variations option over here, click on add variations and click on create variations from all attributes and click on OK. So that means we basically adding three variations of our Shopify store. So we're going to type here for the basic, we can go for example, I would say for the price, we can go $89. We're going to click on virtual products over here. And for our description, we can go and copy this little description over here and paste this here for our standard. We can see their price is $60. So we can go and make this 149. So that means we're making $80 profits. Again, a virtual product over here for the description. You want to copy the description of the standard product, paste description over here. And then for the premium, they charge $95. We can go and charge 199 and go and click on virtual over here and paste this same description under the description tab here. Click on save changes. And if I now go and publish this product just to show you what it looks like on the public page, you're going to be quite impressed how easily this whole tool is connected and does everything for you. So now this product has now been published. Open up your link over here to your product and take a look at what this looks like. Here you can see one product specialized Shopify dropshipping store. Your customers can choose an option, a basic, a standard or a premium over here. They get a whole description of the product. You can even go and add some reviews, which you can copy and paste off of uh, the five gig. And I mean, all they do is they click add to cart. You will get the order on your back end. You, your customer first pays you 199. So if you've got zero money, you can take the $95 out of this 199, pay this guy on Fiverr. He does all the work, transfer that to your clients and you keep over a hundred dollars in your pockets and you literally did nothing. Now, if you want to, you can go and use this as your default landing page. So take a look at this. When people go and click on add to cart over here, um, you'll see they can now click on view cart and it will take them to the checkout page of here. Just let me just delete some of these products that I was selling earlier on my store. So here you can see is the Shopify dropshipping store over here. They total of 199 They then proceed to checkouts over here and they can enter all of their billing details over here and place order via EFT. Now, what you need to do is we need to go and add a couple of payment gateways. What I suggest is if you're only selling in your local country, you can just have EFT or even cash on delivery as an option. So you're going to go and click on plugins over here. You want to go click on add new again. And we want to go and add the PayPal plugin. So we're going to go and search PayPal on the search bar of the plugins. And you will see the first one that will pop up is the right one. I'm just waiting for this to load up. It will be this one over here, the WooCommerce PayPal payments. You're going to click on install now and it will install to your WooCommerce system. And then I'm going to show you how to go and set this up. Click on activate once it's installed. So this plugin is now activated and we can now accept PayPal payments on our WooCommerce checkout. What you can do is you can also add Bitcoin. You can add your own local payment gateways. Everything is supported on WordPress. So you want to come over to WooCommerce over here, click on settings at the top of this tab, click on the payments tab so we can go and set up our payments. You want to make sure you've got direct bank transfer checked and that you've got the PayPal option checked out, checked over here. And all you do is you click on connect to PayPal over here. It will then take you to your PayPal account where it will ask you to connect with WordPress. You just click accept on that and it will automatically connect up your PayPal to this. So every time someone pays your, for your product, that money will get sent to your PayPal account. And we obviously need to go and set up our direct bank transfer over here. So we just click on set up over here of direct bank transfer. And then all you want to do is you just want to put your bank account details where people can pay you via EFT, such as your account name, account number, bank name, and any other important information. So let's just go, for example, test bank. We can go here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the bank name, we can just go my bank. This is just to show you with some random information. So now that I've clicked on save, and if I come back to payments, we need to go and enable the bank payments over here. So we just click on, okay, it's already enabled. So now you'll see if I reload this checkout, take a look at this. It will now uh, make payment directly into our bank account. Please use your order ID as the payment reference. So once you fill out all this information, let's just go test, 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 Town city test country, we can type a test postal code, we can go 6000 or whatever phone number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and email address, we can just put here random my email at gmail.com. Uh, let's remove that. And you can then click on place order over here and take a look at the next page. Uh, the postal code is not a valid zip. 
uh, let's just go. It's going to use a South African postal code so that it is valid. Province, we can just go Eastern Cape, 6000. We can go 6070. And then we want to click on place order over here. And there we go. Order received. Thank you. This is your what your client will see. They will then get sent an invoice to the email address just as proof of payment. And you will get an order over here. If I come over to my orders tab, you will get an order over here. For example, here's this test order. It's on hold because the reason being is once you receive their bank payments, you need to actually click on on your order over here you can see here's the total of 199 for the premium store you then need to click on um, the the status over here and click on processing once they've paid you you then click update because then an email will be sent to them saying your order's now been processed and that's when you come over to Fiverr you place this order and then you send all the information or the complete store to your clients once they've received the store you're going to come back to your dashboard over here and you're going to click on completed and you click on update so it will send them a final receipt and a final notification that your order has been complete and now we need to go and promote the store over here that we've created so we can come over to one of my favorite places to actually make a lot of money is facebook.com and you come over to the marketplace. On the marketplace, you want to go and click create a new listing over here. You want to click on item for sale. And now all you want to do is you want to go and add your same title, price and category condition. And you can literally go and copy and paste of your same product over here. So let's just come back to our product over here. Let's just open this item. So we can get the link to our product that we created. Uh, here's this link and just open this in a new tab. We can go copy this, come over to Facebook Marketplace, paste this on our title for our price. We obviously need to do a conversion as you, some of your local countries' currencies might be different. So for example, $89, my country is South African Rand. So we can go 89 USD to South African Rand. Um, you would obviously do it to yours. So it's 1,362 Rand. So I'm just gonna round that off to 1,390. And our category, we can go and look for, um, we can select miscellaneous under classifieds condition. We can put on new over here for the description. We can go and copy this exact same description over here. Copy, paste this here. And then for your product tags, we can do uh, e-commerce. Uh, that is perfectly fine. We can also, if you want to run ads on this post, you can click on boost listing after a publish, meaning you can pay like a hundred or that's dollars 10 or 15 dollars to list your ad at the top and run ads on it so that people in your local city will see what you're offering and then all you want to do is you want to go and um, you want to go and add the photos so that's all the same photos over here that we downloaded off of fiverr we want to set this as our front page and then over here you can see some of our example stores if i click on the arrows over here so this is now perfect now this is the ad and what people will see so what you can then go and do is we can click on next over here and you can even go and list this in a couple of groups but you want to select the marketplace you want to click on publish and this is a great way to get a lot of exposure everybody in your local city to see that you are selling a one product specialized shop of my drop shipping store for just a thousand rand it's ludicrous i mean if i go and have a look here let's go web development quote and it will by default search my local company let's go and have a look here at uh port elizabeth that's my local city Elizabeth, click on enter and let's take a look here. So here we've got upstasker.com, we've got snuppet.co.za, we've got zawebs.com. So these are all companies that will charge. Uh, let's see if we can actually find a quote. Um, here, website design from 5999, that is their cheapest package. And I can promise you that is a basic website for a photographer or a blog. E-commerce stores will be well over 10,000 Rand as those are the most expensive types of websites to make. And you are coming in over here uh, if I come back to my Facebook Marketplace ad at 1,390 Rand. And remember, you only have to pay them $20, which in my country is like 300 Rand. So you keeping over 1,000 Rand, which is over $80 profit, and you're not even doing this hard work yourself. And when you're ready, you can scale with Google Ads, which is one of my most profitable ways of selling drop servicing services. So you can get access to free Google Ad coupons. You get a whole bunch of ads, keywords, match types, how to find winning keywords, saving money with negative keywords, and you can watch me design my perfect Google ad in 20 minutes live on this program over here. 
And then I also even scale more with an email marketing and drop servicing combo. So you will get access to a best email automating. So you will get access to an email autoresponder software, understanding tags and functions. You will get an entire email automation overview, advanced email automation features. You've got the soap opera sequence and a sign file sequence and also dealing with customer revisions. You also get a bonus on how you can drop service without a website. And over here, a gift from me to you where I actually give to you my done for you drop servicing agency. So this entire program Program is the first link in the description if you want to go and check this out and scale with your drop servicing store. But what I'll do is I'll leave my entire drop servicing playlist over here on how you can sell all sorts of services like this internationally and locally in your local area. And I find drop servicing actually works best when you just use local countries instead of trying to sell internationally. I find you get a lot more bigger and better conversions like that. So this playlist over here will teach you all of that. So I recommend go and click on this playlist over here and I'll see you over there.